Hi, I'm Jennifer Jessup with Trade Show News Television here at the NAB Show in Las Vegas. And with me is Matt Nelson with Avison. Hi, Matt. Hi. How are you? Doing great. Good. Your booth is really cool, man. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you've got here today. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, Avacent does uh, broadcast KVM switching. And what that does is really increases the efficiency in the way a broadcast studio works. And so from a single keyboard and mouse, you can actually switch amongst all your different resources that you can centralize into one, one place. So let me give you a quick example of that. Um, from this one station here, I can uh, just hit one key and up pops all the places that I can go. I can change this entire editing environment from one spot right over to another one. Very, very cool. What are you guys premiering here at the show this year? Yeah, so this year, um, this is what we would call our analog KVM switching matrix. Um, this year we introduced a brand new digital switching matrix where we're no longer just switching VGA, but we're also switching very high resolution DVI. So the way a KVM sy system works is you might have multiple studios or an editor that needs to go from place to place. Typically that editor wants to bring all his resources with him. The way it works is that we can, again, centralize all of those look, all those resources into one location. An editor can go from studio to studio and still get access to all of those resources and he doesn't have to, you know, pick up all those things and put them in a different place or whatever and he can get to any of those resources that he needs. So give me a situation in, like, say, a newsroom or something. Yeah, so in a newsroom, you might have one editing system and you need to get access to uh, some particular graphics or a particular graphics generator. Well, maybe that's not right there in that location. Maybe it's over in Studio B and you're in Studio A. You need to be able to get access to it. With our equipment, it allows you to basically just a couple strokes of a key, get access to that video system or whatever from Studio A to Studio B. That's fantastic. Thank okay. you very much. We're talking to John Jensen with Avocent. Hey, John, how are you? Great. Good. It's nice to meet you. Now, you are an expert on the digital KVM system, right? That's right. I'm the field applications engineer, and we're really excited here at NAB to be introducing our new digital KVM system. It's actually a system that is based on some hardware that we've been shipping for a year in point-to-point -point configuration. It's a departure from anything else that's been out there in the KVM market. The difference is it's fully digital, meaning that we're taking digital signals in and we're capturing them, digitizing them, putting them out on an IP stream. Each device in the system has its own IP address, subnet, gateway, so it can be routed out not only throughout your facility but across the internet as long as you've got the bandwidth we can send the signal. Uh -huh. That sounds pretty smooth. Can you do a little demonstration behind us here? Absolutely. So this is the transmitter that would attach to the back of your computer. This uh, ECMS 4000 transmitter includes two DVI ports, so it's perfect for extending your nonlinear editing system, both your bin monitor and your composed monitor, and audio and USB. On the other end of the system is the receiver, and that receiver, of course, has two DVI ports on the back of it, so you can use either digital or analog monitors. You've got your audio out. We've got a serial port for programming the system and four USB ports on the back. Now those four USB ports are very special. One of them is for a keyboard, one of them is for a standard mouse, another one is for what we call virtual media. This allows you to plug a USB drive or a CD-ROM drive into the user station and it's exactly like it was plugged into your computer. We have one other port the, with a feature that is not yet shipping, but that's for virtual USB. So we'll be able to support devices that have specific applications like specialized keyboards or a Wacom tablet, something like that. Now, the combination of this system, of uh, these pieces, comprises the system. So we have a LAN port on the receiver, a LAN port on the transmitter. Those go out to a switch or any two switches that are uh, attached on a network and then we're able to transport a uh, high resolution DVI image uh, up to 1900 by 1200 at full refresh rate uh, between that transmitter and that receiver again at any distance as long as you have the bandwidth. John what's on the screens behind us here? Okay these two screens here are attached to an ECMS 4000 user station and we're attached to a server that's 
located uh, in a distant uh, rack location. And through the keyboard and mouse down here, we can actually connect to a different ECMS uh, 4000 transmitter. So the user interface is very, very simple. It's a matter of hitting a hot key, and we get a list of the available target servers up on the screen. Now I can just use my mouse to select the target server, and in a few seconds, will be attached to, in this case, a G5 computer that's running an Avid interface. Right. So you've had a lot of activity in your booth, huh? This has been an exceptional year for Avacyn. We've had a constant flow of people coming into this booth and being very excited about this technology. That's very exciting. Well, we wish you all the best this week. We hope everybody at NAB comes to visit your booth. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, John.